Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can understand complex KQL queries. We all have been there. We surfed around the web and we see a KQL query that looks interesting, but we don't know what it's actually doing because it's that long uh, of, of, a, of a piece of code and it's not formatted well it's hard to understand and there is a tool on the internet that can help you understand kql queries and that tool is called chat gpt in my previous video i already show you that chat gpt is able to generate kql queries for you we were able to tell chat gpt in a human language what data we would like to have and chat gpt was able to generate the kql query for us this time i'm going to show you things the other way around we have a complex query and chat gpt will explain the query for us so let's head over to my desktop and i'll show you around so here we are at chat.openai.com the chat gpt interface and let's start with uh, let, letting chat GPT explain a simple query. So let's ask that question to chat GPT. Can you explain the following KQL query? Azure activity, activity limit 100. So it's now uh, thinking for us and let's wait uh, until it responds. And there it already is. This query is written in the Custo query language KQL for Azure Log Analytics. The query retrieves the first 100 records from the Azure activity table. Uh, the pipe symbol is used to pipe the results of one comment to another. And the limit is used to specify the number of records to be returned. So this query is retrieving the first 100 records from the Azure activity table. And that's exactly what this uh, query is, uh, is doing. But let me now show you a more complex query. And within Microsoft Sentinel, there is a place where a lot of complex queries live. If you go to analytics, and we go to the rule templates, which are a lot of KQL uh, analytic rules delivered by the community, by Microsoft, etc., that are uh, really easy to use for you in, in Microsoft Sentinel. We can enable them in uh, literally a nutshell. But what is the query actually doing, uh, the query behind this analytic rule? So let's, for example, pick this rule click on create rule and if you now go to the set rule logic uh, tab this is where the query lives and microsoft do is doing a good job of explaining what's happening by adding comments to the uh, kql query but if you still don't understand what's happening over here you can go to chat gpt and ask it to, to explain the query for you can you explain the following KQL query. Let's paste it below. And there it comes with its uh, explanation. It really comes with, uh, with the execution uh, steps that it's doing. I really like uh, this stuff that we can put a piece of, uh, of code in it and that it will explain to us uh, what's actually happening within that piece of, uh, of code, especially when that piece of code uh, can be uh, quite complex. So this is really, really uh, cool. Let's pick another one. So if I go back to uh, the rule templates, so for example, let's pick uh, this one, click on create rule, go to the... Uh, Next page, copy the KQL query and ask ChatGPT to explain it. Can you explain the following KQL query? 
Let's paste it below. Hit enter. In it and it directly start with explaining what is actually happening uh, in this query. Most of the time, as you have long queries, the explanation uh, can take uh, some time to uh, uh, to be to be generated by uh, by Chat GPT, especially as it's uh, simulating the human typing thing. But let's wait for it. Uh, uh, until it's finished. And there it is, another great explanation of a uh, of a KQL query. So chat GPT is not only able to generate KQL queries for us, but it's also able to explain KQL queries uh, to us. And that's really helpful. If you find a complex piece of code, being it a KQL query, we can ask chat GPT to explain what is happening over there. And that can really help you understand the code, but also learn from the code, learn from the things that uh, another developer has written down uh, for you. So if you like this content, please hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to this channel. Only 20% of you who are watching this video is subscribed. So Still 80% that needs to, uh, to uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you will get a notification when I upload a new video. And of course, as with every video, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.